Hello, my lovely Aries. Welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are doing fantastic topic and which it speaks for itself. This is King of Pentacles indeed. So career, business, money, finances and manifestation for upcoming months. October 2022 cards are extremely chatty. They are desperate to reveal what is coming in for you. Just keep in mind, this is not one one reading, but this is reading for money, for Aries, like yourself, Sun, Moon and Rising. Check that out as well. Very interesting things might surface. So take the messages that resonate and drop the rest. Once again, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you being here. And don't be shy, subscribe. And if you wish, comment and press that like button. Alrighty. What's coming in for you? Money, career, finances, business, manifestation, and all the good things that go around being active and making that world goes around. Interesting. We have the Justice, Seven Pentacles, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and it was coming out. It was coming out already. Nine of Swords, already. Queen of, Queen of Swords. I can see why. I can see why. Ace of Swords we have as well. Four of Pentacles. Interesting. And Wheel of Fortune. Righties. All right. So we have at the bottom, we have Ace of Cups and the Star. All right, Aries. So what is going on? There is a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me. There is a lot of emotions involved overflowing i wish that was abundance but very very interestingly what this message is saying here it's not just saying that you are emotional but it's just a reminder and it's a promise from the universe that there is more than you need no one needs to go without for you to have it no one needs to be sick for you to be healthy look at this lovely little bird it holds a pentacle even though it is a cup regarding emotions and relationships, but this is overflowing with the white, with the pentacle in it. We have as well, out with the old, in with new, there is a flow. It just reminds as well that money comes to, to you and money needs to flow out as well. There is important, especially now we have the four pentacles here as well. It's kind of reminding us, don't just hold on to things, okay? Be wise, for sure, grant it. But there is this, this natural law of movement, energy movement. And it's just saying, as you let go, things come to you because you create vacuum. All right. And the star is one a heck of a lucky star. It is. And you know, it's very good because every time I talk about luck or wishes coming through, I always want to remind that everyone some point needed that lucky break. But it's what you do with that lucky break. It's important. It is very important, okay? And it could be coming out of your comfort zone a little bit, okay? Maybe there's a bit of balance needed because we have the seven chakras coming here that maybe there's some sort of balance between the work and life, okay? Maybe it's a bit, someone, some, somewhere, um, maybe you spend too much time uh, at, at work or not working, okay? Or procrastinating, okay? So there is some sort of balance is needed. Anyways, this is one, a heck of an interesting interesting month mm -hmm. so, strangely as i put it down it comes like the ideas to you are flowing in immensely a lot of ideas how to make money and they feel good this is kind of coming in okay how are we going to do this beginning of the month middle of the month and end of month right at the beginning of month so what do we have in beginning of month we do have the uh um, full moon right full moon in aries October 9th. Interesting. So that kind of puts you in charge. And in charge it does because you King of Cups are here. King of Cups is someone who knows how to deal with people. Perfect people skills. Brilliant leader. Knows how to, in a little bit of a way, a manipulative if needed. Okay. But look, if you're a leader, you know how to need to um, manage and uh, manage your other people or staff or colleagues or uh, suppliers or whatever it is. This is kind of sometimes like playing a role. But, but that's what you have to do sometimes, right? 
Now, with this full moon, it kind of really puts you in, in the driver's seat. You kind of are in charge, making decisions, really, really, you know, um, making and molding what you want to do, how you want to create this uh, abundance. And it's, you are making decisions here. You're kind of thinking, okay, shall I wrap this thing up? Is this thing profitable as I thought it would be? Am I on the right track? It's kind of like recapping, thinking, contemplating, like going down to the drawing board and looking at the goal, what I want today. Is it really paying off? If my energy, if my time is really worth any one of those pentacles, or shall I take one pentacle, like just a saying, right? And do something different or it's just kind of a good way to look back a bit. Sometimes it's good to have this balance, not just work, work, work and do, 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 do and, and literally tunnel vision. And, and there is time for that. But here you're really kind of looking and, and planning your next move. And it's very good. And I'm going to get to that later on. With four pentacles, you are literally putting the money as the king. Look, he even made the crown out of it. Money is super important for you at the beginning here. And it kind of feels that there is money coming in. Don't be scared. You know, let it go as well. It, money comes, money goes. You have to let it go as well. You can't just hold on to things. And sometimes I know you're very, very tight. You want to overview everything. Delegation sometimes is good. Look, if you can't trust no one, then don't trust no one. That, that's up to you. I can't, um, I can't influence you that way. You have the free will granted right but you are in charge therefore you have been given a power and responsibility indeed that's what comes with being in charge i really want to see so how is this journey at the beginning of the month how is this uh what kind of journey you're on what kind of signs are coming up what kind of speed you're going oh there we are <laughs> hey we have a no U-turn and no parking. So clearly, buckle up. The, the journey is on. There is no time for stopping. And I understand because I'll get into this but quickly. From the end of the month, right? It will be, that's it. You literally have to do everything during the month of October. Because the stars change, the planets change and... Whatever you do in this month, you can change it later on, but you really need to set those goals and kind of set the, the basics right, okay? So this is no time to um, probably maybe go on holidays, just, and even if you do, you probably will planning anyway, because this is like real go, let's go, 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 plan and um, plan, plan the action, plan the everything that needs to be done, like really, really busy time, Okay. Uh-huh. All righty. Let's dive in. Middle of the month. We have nine of swords, wheel of fortune, and ace of swords. In between the 10th and 23rd is Mercury in Libra. And it is talking, Libra is talking about communication. So communicating clearly, clearly with compassion is very important. Not just at work, but it especially at work, work-related. And we have the swords. This is your intelligence. This is your the way you speak, the way you kind of present yourself. And you might actually get really interesting light bulb moments. And especially now I'm looking, we have the two aces. It's a brilliant month. It's like double yes plus the star. It's like three yeses saying you are on the right track. You're doing a good thing. Keep up the good work. And Wheel of Fortune, what does it do? I'm looking around the cards. It's turning from, um, from the Nine of Swords into the uh, king of knight of pentacles it does show that if you put your mind to something that can manifest and that's why this reading is, is about about manifestation as well and especially now we have the nine of swords overthinking can create a really low energies everyone knows that but overthinking, overanalyzing can really start, you might start to go backwards, like Mercury is doing now, yeah? And it might really kind of, really procrastinate, you really put you on, on kind of bad mood and and realizing that 
I'm doing nothing. I'm just going backwards and, and things are not working out. Okay. So from nine of swords turning into the ace of swords and then into nine of pentacles, it's very, very good. But that means just you are realizing that just holding on to things or overanalyzing, it's not going to lead you anywhere. Because Wheel of Fortune is turning, is a turning point happening. Okay. And, and it kind of feels that there is a lot of, a lot on stake, a lot for you. All right. Let's have a look. What's. What kind of signs are coming on this part of the journey? I'll try not to drop them because, but they are super chatty today. Super chatty today indeed. No, that's not that. That's it. Alrighty, so we have the traffic lights. Traffic lights, what that means. It's time for stop, to think, time to be active and for, no, plan and time to be active 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 and go 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 trusting the divine timing if some things are not working out there's no point to cry okay there's no point to cry in your pillow there's no point to stress yourself out because stress i'm not professional medical stuff but stress is one of the biggest contributors to illnesses right stress can make your belly hurt, stress and make you really, really tired. And some people react to stress different. Control your stress if you can, okay? Try not to be bogged down by things. And we can, sometimes we are putting so much pressure on ourselves, okay? To get these things done, kind of deadlines are there and making sure the money is coming in. And, and But money is coming in, right? And I know you're kind of trying to manage how much is going out. Is there enough? Do you want some savings? By stressing, it's not going to change. And it's easier said than done. Grant, it's easier said than done. What is wrong with my speech today? It feels like someone's playing with my speech today. The spirit's playing up. It is. <laughs> it is indeed. Alrighty. End of month. So... By the end of month, we have the new moon in Scorpio, right? October 25th. Yeah, October 25th. And then by the very end of the month, the Mars is going retrograde. So you need to kind of, it's very, very busy months to set your very goals, to set kind of basics up. Because afterwards, you can go into this and kind of um, tweaks and turn and kind of change a little bit here and there. Very basics, what you're doing, what you're planning, what's your action, that needs to be done in October. Okay. And very interesting, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Is something any then uh, any unlike the other knights. I hope I can get my words out. I'm really sorry, but the spirit is playing up today. Unlike the other knights, Knight of Pentacles is really taking care of how things are molded, how uh, how particular details are being and deadlines been met and look at the ground is ready to go ready to put the seeds down ready to put manifestational seeds down right but it's a very count it's, it's a card for accountants they will love that because this is something like paying attention to the terms conditions all the small print making sure that everything is done correctly on time you're within the law it's kind of like literally like the goody two-shoes card. Sorry, accountants, but this is kind of good. That's what you need. Eh? That's why we have this reading, right? And this is kind of thing like it's wrapping up, really like wrapping up, especially now we have the Queen of Swords and the Justice. This is like there is no time to mess around or there's no time to play games, okay? Some, play, some people sometimes play games to get some gains, this is not at the time. You will be found out. Don't even go there. Because Queen of Swords is someone who is telling you as it is. Don't mess with the Queen of Swords. She says spades are spades and that's it. And maybe that's someone in your um, surroundings or your colleagues. Or could be some professional that is actually advising you. And with the justice here as well. Um, it's kind of saying, look, be mindful how you speak. Because everything will have the, the consequences. And some of you, you might actually have some sort of maybe legal doings. 
and and therefore it's important what you say how you speak how you behave may actually influence your either business or career your uh, place at work okay so there could be something actually you might be actually feel like not like judge but there could be maybe some um interview or you might be um someone's looking up to you and thinking okay you could be the next leader you could be the next uh person to do a particular position right and you've been kind of watched over right and kind of analyzed and you might be actually presented this um position okay that kind of feels here so let's have a look what kind of signs we have for you here this one's coming oh uh -huh, yeah dealing with people dealing with people um very interesting that there could be some calming down and now the the, the moment being set in motion maybe you applied for a new place or job or work whatever and now you are actually meet starting to meet uh communicate and um having online even interviews whatever but there could be some really um important points here at this point on the month right let's have a look what else we have for you aries for this month very busy months very important months in actually in fact really kind of like it sounds like squeaky clean month doing the right thing the right time okay time for for thinking time for action and it it is really like minute by minute okay right if this resonates with you don't be shy press the like button okay surrender to the divine and it does talk about does talk about the truth and being truthful to yourself who you are to your community and it's something that talks about the integrity as well because i see as well ace of cups is talking about clean and clear intentions and integrity definitely take time to breathe out communication where when you speak it gives away when we speak too fast when we, we are like i'm sometimes over um enthusiastic to kind of translate what i see what i hear so i'm not missing anything but when we speak to people when we're passing on some sort of information or ourselves right we're kind of trying to impress it's important to have pause it's important to have kind of really calm collective um posture and language right doesn't need to be big words not at all not at all you don't need to impress like that but um having a break in between sentences and looking people's eyes and smile whatever that is important here we go the last one here nothing is yet set in stone so there could be some more revelations later in november but you are already kind of setting a motion so um so wait and see wait and see what's happening all right what else we have for regarding time frame for you aries let's have a look uh -huh. okay yes and no yes and it and i'm not surprised to see this because you have set your things in motion you have done your homework but the answer might not come in october yet okay and that's fine so you might be waiting maybe a little bit longer but that doesn't mean no completely it doesn't mean yes um like it is kind of a little bit up in the air okay but it's nothing to worry about you have done your bit if you do your bit well there's nothing to worry about having said that straight away it comes to my me my attention divine timing don't force things okay let it take natural cause because wheel of fortune is like a universe wheel have faith in in the processes have faith in law of attraction have faith in the manifestation that you can put on and very important then this card caught me in my eye again when you have set things in motion don't start to freak out i haven't heard from them yet i haven't this i don't have the da, 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 da. keep your head heavenwards keep your mind focused on positive stuff you say well why but why to be negative because you're going to start to track if you're starting to dwell on things i haven't heard from them this not happened and that had happened uh, you're going to start to track things that you did not want and you have done such hard work here 
and done everything by the book, why to start sabotage yourself? Okay, we all do that some now and then. So, do your good work, play the book by the book. A lot of ideas coming in. You got three yeses, a real lucky break for you, and just wait and breathe out. Have a good night's sleep, play golf if you like, or you know how to do it. I don't, and wait for the answer to come and it will on its own time all right Aries that's all I have for you this for this month I really hope you do have a really fantastic month we'll see what's happening in November and thanks for being here I'll see you in the next reading Ta-da!